So let me jiggle this rat around. He'll probably come running out. <laughs> Open. Yes. They're usually pretty good. When they were breeding last summer, uh, they usually don't get into any spats over food. Has a really cool, nice line going down there. Oh. Hey guys, how's it going today? We will be doing the April Reptile Room update where we go around to all the reptiles, see how they're doing, and give the latest updates on them. We'll be starting with Frappuccino My Tegu, but first a couple quick reminders. First reminder, we just launched Patreon last week. That will be in the top right. I really appreciate your guys' support on there. You could do as low as a dollar a month and get some really cool behind the scenes updates and rewards. So I definitely check that out. Also, reminder, we have merch. I'm wearing the Tongue Out Tuesday shirt because it is Tuesday at the time of recording. That will be in the description and the top right as well. Lastly, remember to follow us on Twitch at the Herp Hour where me and Dakota do our podcast. Uh, we'll be on tomorrow, 5 p.m. That's Thursday, Eastern Standard Time. I'm just chatting with you guys. And then Saturday, we'll have Neptune the Chameleon on for our weekly guest interview. Remember, all that stuff's in the description. Let's get to today's video. Like I said, we're going to start with Frat My Tegu. There's a lot of updates on him as he's been getting over being a little ill. Uh, let's open this up. He has been not eating anything but whole prey lately. I actually haven't offered him whole prey for about two weeks now, and he hasn't been eating at all. I think sort of his uh, issues are making him more limited in what he can sense. And when I offer him whole prey, I dingle it, <laughs> dingle it. I shake it around a little bit for him to notice. And I think he reacts because he sees that motion. But when I put in his food bowl, I think his senses are a little dulled. So he's not recognizing his food because he doesn't even check it out. Uh, so I am going to give him one small wrap today because I do want him to eat something. I also want to double check. It's not a total hunger strike. Uh, so let's do that and I'll just give you guys some progress updates. So let me jiggle this rat around. He'll probably come running out. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely not a full hunger strike. Uh, like I said, I think his uh, senses are just a little dulled, but he knows how the rat sort of moves and he knows it's a rat by that movement. Um, so I definitely need to get him back on eating a more diverse diet and not just um, his whole prey. Although whole prey is not the end of the world, uh, he just hasn't been getting his veggies and his greens, which are very important, especially since last uh, blood work we did when you know I brought him into the vet. Uh, his phosphorus levels were pretty high, so he needs to eat more than just the meats. Um, but otherwise, uh, I did a vet checkup with him yesterday. I brought him in. They did another blood work that should be coming in today. She said overall he's doing really well. Um, and uh, he's making improvement. He's still getting the bubbles in the eyes, which means he still has his respiratory issue. We switched medicines, which I'll probably give to him right now on camera, um, in his mouth, and he hates that. Uh, if you watched one of my last live streams, you saw how much of a fit he's been putting up lately as he's been getting better. But good news is, is he's getting better overall. He's making progress. Um, humidity's been holding really well in this enclosure, uh, so I'm really happy with where he's at. So I'm going to give him his medicine real quick. He's up on his basking spot, which will help me out. Um, usually if I can get it in right away, it's pretty easy, but as soon as I do one attempt and fail, uh, it gets pretty, uh, pretty not good for me. I guess that's the best way I can put it. I'm trying to hide it because he knows that if he, if he sees a syringe, it's game over. He also knows if I touch his chin. Open. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know if he just spit all that back up. <laughs> what do you think? Um. Because <laughs> that looks like he just spit it all back <laughs> that up. That looks like the medicine. <laughs> okay, so you may notice two Ackies in here. Yes, uh, I posted this as um, sort of a behind the scenes thing to Patreon the other day. Uh, but we have Aces and Dell together uh, right now, and they're getting along. They've been like this for a couple days. I am working towards possibly permanently cohabbing them. Um, I've been sort of becoming more indifferent on my stance on that topic, so I'm trying to see how this goes and see if there's reason to believe that I was initially wrong. Now, they do have little spats here and there. That's quite normal as dominance gets uh, reformed between these two. I'm hoping that this will be better for breeding between them as they'll be constantly together. Um, Dell is really not a, a big fan just yet, though. Um, although, you know, Asus is loving this. But I'm going to give them a couple roaches real quick and then we'll move on. They're usually pretty good. When they were breeding last summer, 
Uh, they usually don't get into any spats over food. Uh, I just got to make sure that uh, I kind of keep them separate as I feed them. Um, but they're usually pretty good. Now on to the baby Ackies. I got the supposed female right here. I am pretty sure at this point of six months she is female. Um, and the other one is suspected to be male. And I do believe he is male at this point. Uh, even more so. They are doing really good. They are eating fine. Uh, she is the more skittish of the two. And you can see she's just kind of relaxing in my hand now. So she's been getting a lot better with that. Sometimes she does freak out though. But definitely a lot better. Uh, but they're both putting on weight. They're both doing really well. Uh, I'm really happy sort of with their progress. And they should be getting into a new enclosure soon whenever I get those enclosures in. Before putting her back, I just want to show off some of her nice coloring coming in. You can see the nice kind of reddish brown on the back. And then as we get towards the neck, there's some nice yellows coming in already. Uh, she's got a yellow tint kind of going down the, the sc spine of her back, which is kind of cool. The other one has a lot more yellows sort of in the neck, and then he has sort of a line of yellow going down the spine as well. So that's really cool. I kind of want to see how that develops as they age, since they tend to get more yellow as they get older. But she's doing really good. Um, she's a little bit in freak out mode right now because she's not used to being held like this. Um, but they are a bit very happy currently. Now on to LG. He's my other male Aki. I do want to put him with Dell eventually. Right now though, he's still got a little growing to do. I think he's about uh, half a year uh, younger than Asus and Dell in terms of age. Uh, he's got to put on more size. I don't trust them together just yet. He's definitely not there in terms of Dell's size. So I want to make sure that they are matching in size and that one is not really dominating the other in terms of weight. He's doing really good though. He's uh, eager to get out of sort of this enclosure. Uh, and I can't wait to get him into one of his uh, PVC ones that I'm having made. And he really loves that ball. Make sure you check out that um, enrichment video I did with these guys. I'll put that in the top right. But he loves tossing around that thing. Hey Max, how's it going? She's doing really good. Uh, I'm really happy with the continual progress she's making. Her bathroom habits especially are getting more and more regular as I increase or uh, improve her husbandry. I think she's doing really well. The only thing I still have yet to see from her that I want to see is a little bit more activity. She can still get rather lazy, so I kind of want to encourage her to be more active. And I'll probably be doing or trying some enrichment ideas with her. But let's give her a nice little roach since she's such a good girl. Uh, that was not a very good effort there, Max. You want to try that again? Oh, where did it go? There we go. Go for it, Max. There you go. Yeah, so she's doing really well. Keeps eating her greens a whole bunch. Um, and I'm happy with the continual improvement I'm seeing from Max. We are in the one and only Tortellini's enclosure. You can see that there is a little bit of a ditch being formed here. And you can actually probably hear him behind the camera. He's over here digging away. He's been quite a rowdy man. Um, I don't know what's gotten into him. I don't know if it's maybe just breeding season for him and, you know, being springtime and everything. But he has been making tons of noise. He's been traveling up and down the front of this enclosure, making that ditch, uh, burrowing away and stuff like that. I can't wait to get him in his stock tank enclosure, which should be coming. Or, I mean, it's not going to be hard to put together. I'm really just waiting on other pieces so I can actually fit this thing. Uh, I'm actually going to probably put it in the commercial property because there's going to be a lot more room. Uh, and I could probably get it set up quicker if I do it that way. So I can't wait to get him in that since that's going to be a little bit bigger and he won't be banging into these walls as much. Uh, and he'll be able to do more fun things in there. He's doing good overall. There was a period where I was a little worried about him and his eating habits. But those that seemed to have passed. Uh, so I'm really happy with what he's doing now. And he's just being a rowdy little tortellini. Finally we got Destin. Destin's just hanging out being lazy since it's not his prime time of the day. Uh, but he's doing well like always. I did find around my house a place that's open because they're labeled an essential business. I think because they sell produce. That has flowers and plants and stuff. So I might check out that place and see if I can get going on his upgraded enclosure that's been due for a while. Uh, just because, uh, you know, it's hard to get materials in and that's not helping out with getting that going. So I'm hoping by going to the shop I can get some of those... Uh, you know, plants and stuff I want to include and I can get going on this thing. But overall health wise, he's doing really good. 
He's just hanging out. Nothing of concern with him. So that wraps up April's reptile room update. I hope you enjoyed. We went around to every reptile and updated their progress for you guys. Frap is doing really good, so I'm happy with that. That's definitely the highlight for me this go around. Anyway, guys, make sure you check out the Patreon, check out merch, check out Twitch. All those links in the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I don't know what that was. Anyway, see you guys.